Hi everyone, welcome back to part 6 of the Book One Cozy's Club chapter by chapter for Raining Men and Corpses, the first book in the Reign of Sun mystery series by Anne R. Tan. I'm Di and this is my audio only reading vlog for this book. Today I will be reading chapters 21 through 24 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers, so if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. If you would prefer to hear my general thoughts on this book in its entirety, keep an eye out for my Book One Cozy's Club Series First Impressions video, which will be posted sometime after the reading vlogs for this book have commenced. So how is everyone doing this evening? I'm getting a little bit of an earlier evening tonight, though it is still after midnight. That's my normal time for recording these, but... We are in our second to the last section of this book. So things should be wrapping up or heading in that direction. I'm really looking forward to getting the final puzzle pieces in this mystery and hopefully focusing more on that instead of whatever's going on with Eden and Saul and Officer Hopper. I'm just, I'm over those three things. <laughs> I've had about enough with those three situations, I guess. You probably could tell by the irritation in my voice tonight and the irritation I had in my voice last night. It's just not the types of things that I enjoy reading and I really don't enjoy having characters that I dislike so much in my reads. I know sometimes that is a like good writing device for authors having, you know, unreliable witnesses or unreliable narrators or just characters that you love to hate, I guess, but I dislike that a lot, so I'm hoping for less of those three people in these chapters and more puzzle pieces, I guess you could say. So I'm going to dive into chapter 21 right now, and I'll be back with you in a bit. So I just finished chapter 24. I didn't really have a lot of things to say while I was reading, um, and I still really don't have a lot of things to say at the moment. I do really enjoy how Reina's grandma has the comic relief moments, um, like when they got into the kind of car accident when she had the flat tire and the car was like in the ditch and she was commenting about Reina's undergarments <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out exactly how old Reina's grandma is because at one point in conversation she started off with like 70 then she went down to 65 and then in a different chapter I think she said 60 <laughs> so I'm thinking she's in her 70s, um, but I really enjoy her grandma as a character. Eden, on the other hand, again, stepping into something that she probably shouldn't. I mean, I understand that she feels protective over Reyna and is just trying to look out for Reyna's best interests and that she doesn't think that Matthew is her best interests. But at the same time, Raina is not doing the same thing to Eden about Saul. And she shouldn't because, you know, that's Eden's decision. As is Raina's relationship with Matthew. It's Raina's decision. So Eden just needs to back off. I mean, I don't know. Does she feel like... She knows that she did wrong. I mean, in the morning, she was a bit sheepish um, when she came over. And so maybe she does realize that she's 
stepped into something that she shouldn't have. But, yeah. N wasn't too happy with that whole confrontation in front of Reyna's apartment. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad that Reyna is deciding to kind of finalize what her and Matthew's relationship will be going forward though I'm not sure that that's set in stone yet I mean I'm glad she's kind of like you know putting things into perspective and trying to make sure that things just won't continue the way they have for the last what decade or so but at the same time I'm kind of sad about it because I want her relationship with Matthew to work out. I don't know why. I just kind of do. So, yeah. It seems like the little seed that Raina tried to plant at the end of chapter 24 ended up being nothing, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Andrew did definitely sound perturbed about the quote-unquote rumor that Reyna had relayed to him, but do I think he had anything to do with Holden's murder? I'm not sure about that. So, there are only three more chapters left. It won't be long now till we find out exactly what happened and what's going on. Um, on a side note, the scenes with Olivia kind of make me ache because I know what it feels like when you have a sunburn that bad. Not that I had gotten it like intentionally myself, um, but there was a time uh, when I was growing up that my father had taken us to the beach and did not have sunscreen and told me, oh no, you know, it's okay. I was only about mm, 10 or 12 at the time and I knew at that time how sensitive my skin is and I had gotten a really, really bad burn um, from that outing and so every time they talk about what Olivia's skin looks like, it takes me back to that time in my life where I remember how my skin felt when it was that red and angry. And oh, it just pain, pain. <laughs> just have memories of pain. But anyway, got off topic there. Three chapters left. We're going to wrap this up tomorrow. Really looking forward to seeing who the culprit was, what the exact reason for it was, and maybe if there is a finality to how Reyna and Matthew's relationship will be from here on out. So that's all I've got for this evening. Let me know your thoughts on these chapters down in the comments below, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.